Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we continue with the today's second conference on the Dubai Expo within this international conferences on architecture and exhibition. And now we have the Metaform uh, Architects team that will tell us about the design and construction of the Luxembourg Pavilion. Uh, thank you very much, very much, Kickner, for your uh, availability. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you hear me? Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, uh, thank you for for coming. <laughs> it's maybe not the right word uh, in the in the video call, um, but uh, anyway, thank you for coming and thank you for the opportunity to talk about Luxembourg Pavilion. Um, I just followed the, the lecture from, from Quercraft, uh, and I must say the Austrian Pavilion is one of my favorite pavilions, uh, beside the uh, Luxembourg Pavilion, of course. Um, it is really a very, very nice pavilion, and it is completely different to the pavilion, to the Luxembourg Pavilion, and I will explain it now. Um, let me first um, talk about uh, Metaform and uh, maybe uh, I introduce myself. Um, my name is uh, Gigi Kirchner. I'm partner at Metaform since um, 2017. Um, before that, I was partner at Valentini Architects. Um, both offices are uh, based in Luxembourg, and I'm actually uh, a German guy. And why am I telling you this? Um, as it is uh, something special to build a national pavilion for the World Expo, as a German for Luxembourg, uh, you can imagine I'm quite proud uh, that I did it. and. I have to say I did it twice because I did it in 2010 already in Shanghai. And I will start shortly with this pavilion. So this is uh, the pavilion in Shanghai I did in 2010. All through the requirements for the two pavilions were almost exactly the same. And all through the construction is quite similar. The two pavilions could not be more different. In Shanghai, I used the Corton steel uh, facade. You can see this on the picture. In Dubai, we used uh, a membrane. The pavilion in Shanghai was such a great success. It, um, in, in, well, let's say in every respect, um, the pavilion was cheaper than original budget. I, I have no idea how I did it, but uh, in the end, it was like this. Uh, the pavilion in Shanghai was um, um, uh, very, very well, um, let's say, or, uh, the number of visitors uh, was extremely high. So we had uh, so many visitors uh, in the pavilion. And last but not least, this pavilion still uh, is still standing in Shanghai. They just renovated it and um, you can still go there and uh, see this uh, building. Yeah, this was uh, the starting point for Dubai. Despite uh, the, uh, the success, I had to enter a competition again with Metaform. And for the competition, you need of course, you need uh, a good idea that convinces everyone. 
And for Dubai, uh, we use the idea of this uh, review stripe. I guess everybody knows this uh, uh, review stripe. It's an um, endless ribbon with uh, no beginning and no end. And uh, the Mibius stripe stands also for infinity, of course, and also for circulate economy. And uh, maybe you know that um, Luxembourg is, uh, I think, one of the countries, or maybe the only one, which really tries to to uh, act uh, in 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 that way, uh, we really try to have everything in circulate economy. And um, so the pavilion, of course, needs to be uh, designed in that sense as well. What well, Queercraft already mentioned it, and they did it in a, in, in a, in a maybe in a, in a more simple way. Uh, we, of course, we tried it um, also. But our construction is more complex than uh, the Austrian pavilion. And what you also, or what also is important in a competition, you need a con convincing image, the big picture, we call it big picture. And uh, this is the one I share at the moment. That was uh, the render we, uh, we create for the competition. And this render was apparently uh, strong enough to, to convince everybody. So we won. And um, then the journey uh, starts, of course. Um, uh, we we try to to uh, bring uh, good ideas uh, in in the pavilion. Um, what I have already seen very well in Shanghai was the the good uh, visitor flow. And uh, of course, we want to we wanted to achieve that again in Dubai. So um, that is the reason why we create this kind of a ramp um, going up uh, to the second floor. I will explain this later uh, more detailed um, in, in, the, in the floor plans. And um, it's, it's quite simple, but the, the, the organization is quite simple. Uh, we have a, a, a core and uh, we have this ramp going up we have a slide going down, and uh, but that's and we have of course we have a staircase going down, and but that's it. And all the, the, the other functions are organized around this uh, system. Here in this image, you can already see. I, maybe I can go back quick um, in the competition. The material. Uh, for the facade was not clear. So we start uh, with a kind of, uh, let's say, metal sheet uh, to achieve this really complex Möbius stripe. And, uh, but uh, that was also a question about budget and uh, the budget was not that high. So it was necessary to find another material uh, for the facade. So we came up uh, to the membrane, which is uh, uh, actually a good material. Uh, the material that uh, the membrane is the more or less the same material, or oh, that was the idea to, to use the, the same material that, that the, the people uh, living or the original uh, building uh, the tents, they were also with a kind of membrane. So we thought that's maybe a good idea to, to use a similar material. But um, yeah, that was not possible. <laughs> um, 
because the regulations they were so so high and i will also explain this a little bit later i will show you an interesting picture about this yeah uh, the next picture or next image uh, shows uh, the the ramp uh, from from the inside and um, actually yeah uh, we have different areas in the pavilion we have uh, um, pooled areas and a kind of inside uh, uh, areas but not cooled and of course, we used also the same uh, idea, uh, cooling uh, the, the ramp at least, like uh, Quercraft did it. Uh, uh, our, our cooling system was a, uh, a circled one and not, not uh, the, the tower. But it works, uh, it works really well. Uh, I must say this was uh, quite surprising for me that we can really uh, cool the, the at least I'm uh, honestly it was only the ramp uh, we uh, the rest is uh, uh, in a tra we use traditional air condition and um, I don't uh, the rest was not possible but there, at least the ramp we we used uh, this traditional cooling system. Yeah, Quercraft already explained. Um, I guess you you, you heard that uh, several times now. Uh, there are um, different areas uh, like uh, mobility, opportunity, and sustainability. Uh, our pavilion is quite well. The, the Austrian pavilion is uh, was not our neighbor, but uh, very very uh, close. I think it was this one. As you can see, we are based on, on this plot. And um, I think uh, that, that was a, a very, a very nice, uh, or it is a very nice plot because it's really close to, to the center of Expo, which is here. This is Alvasel Dome. Uh, and um, it's very close to the um, uh, metro station, which is uh, around here. And uh, people coming in, and they they really move uh, quite directly to to Luxembourg Pavilion. This is actually really a, a, a really good plot. Our neighbor is uh, UK. Is here. I guess uh, you, you know this already, or you know you know the, the UK pavilion. And uh, the funny thing is, uh, the neighbor in Shanghai was UK. <laughs> so uh, this was uh, uh, quite uh, interesting. Yeah, um, one sentence to to the plot because it was uh, quite interesting. Um, we got uh, the size of the plot. Um, I can show you this. Uh, it was uh, the, the data sheet uh, for, for our plot. And um, all the information were in the plot. And as you can see here in this image, this is flat. This is uh, horizontal. Yeah. In reality, it was not horizontal, and um, because uh, this is 1.5 meters higher than here, and uh, that was uh, in the beginning a very, very big problem because all the design uh, was finished and uh, we came on site and then we realized um, it is. Uh, actually like this, that we have uh, not a flat uh, plot. And um, yeah, so we create a kind of um, landscape. And that's the reason why we have this, par this, this prisma elements and and we, we create some, some strange ramps here. And um, because we couldn't change the, the, the design of the pavilion. It was already too late uh, because everything 
uh, was connected uh, to the ramp and uh, defined by the ramp and so it was not possible to to change it uh, So what this is, no, that is wrong here. I show you the, I start with the first floor uh, because as I mentioned it already, we had a, a, a ramp starting outside. Maybe I go back uh, to, the, to the side plan. Here you can see, this is our starting point. We create a, a waiting area, a shaded uh, waiting area here. And people wait uh, in, 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 a, in a covered place. And then they are allowed to, to enter the pavilion. Uh, the first idea was to, to open everything and people can, can walk uh, without uh, waiting, but this was uh, too complicated for Expo, and they said, no, please create uh, the waiting area. So we did this. And uh, the ramp itself is uh, 150 meters long, uh, it's starting at zero, and it goes up to the second floor. But we start with the first floor here. You can see here we enter into, into the pavilion. And this area is already inside, but is not cooled. And um, the, the, the cooling uh, starts at this point. Uh, you can see here, uh, this is the ramp going up. And it ends on the second floor. We have uh, on the second floor, we have the main exhibition room where we show uh, uh, a movie about Luxembourg. And this is uh, quite uh, necessary because Luxembourg is uh, one of the smallest countries uh, in the world. Uh, we are not uh, well known, uh, so it's always necessary to explain where we are, what are we doing, what we are uh, famous for, and um, yeah. So uh, it was necessary to create this uh, movie and uh, we showed this in, in this special room. Uh, before we, we go further, I go one step back because I need to explain uh, this is, like I mentioned it in the beginning, this is our core, our core, uh, and in the core, we have the, the multifunction room is on the first. We also have a kind of a balcony here. This is to, to use for, for uh, events and uh, lectures and all this uh, is organized here. We have, uh, this is our atrium. It's also, again, it's outside area. It's not cooled. Uh, and um, we have the link between the multifunction room and the atrium. We have a glass facade here. And uh, yeah, now we go up. So, the wizard flow is like this. They, they're walking up to the second floor. They uh, watch the, the movie, which is quite long. It's seven minutes long, but uh, people, they really, they really uh, watch the movie. It's, a, it's an endless uh, movie. So you can't recognize where, where it starts and where it's end. Um, so people, they are sitting for, for free, three, four times to, to watch this because it's um, quite impressive. Um, it's, it's actually, it's a, it's a huge screen and uh, it's a curved screen as you can see. And um, the movie itself is uh, all about uh, Luxembourg. 
after watching the movie, you have to to go outside. This is completely the the whole the whole ramp is dark. There's no daylight. Um, and also here, no daylight. And then you leave this main exhibition room and you enter into the atrium. And this is uh, completely, there's daylight, uh, there's, um, it's uh, warm, it's the same temperature than outside and uh, or less, less two or three uh, degree, but um, it's, it's warm. So it's, it's quite an interesting shock uh, leaving uh, this area here. And uh, from here, you have two, well, actually, you have three uh, uh, opportunities um, to, to, to go down. We have um, uh, an elevator, of course, for handicapped people. We have this uh, staircase going down. And uh, we have a slide going down. And uh, the atrium uh, is uh, a part of Luxembourg, and uh, that was the, also the, the same idea. Like uh, Querkraft explained it, what can show in in the UAE to explain the country? Uh, should you uh, should you show a, a part of the countryside? And we thought, yes, we should do this, and. Um, but um, it's always uh, complicated uh, to to bring because we have a lot of uh, forest in in Luxembourg and one is quite famous called um, called uh, Mullertal and we decided to show a part of the Mullertal and um, yeah, then the, 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 was the question how we show that. And um, I will explain that um, in one of the next images. But um, first, let me uh, show you the, the section. And uh, I think uh, here you can see how complex the building is. And uh, I can tell you the the pavilion or the, the 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 shape was so complicated or so complex that all the people working on it they uh, in the beginning they didn't understand it and it was uh, really really complicated to cooperate with uh, a lot of people uh, they didn't understand uh, the pavilion that was uh, a real challenge and. Um, but uh, yeah, in the end, uh, it, it worked out. Um, uh, let me explain. This is the ramp. This goes up. Here's the ramp. You can see that. Um, this is the, the main exhibition room. This is the multifunctional room. Um, we uh, have, uh, well, we have a, a restaurant in the ground floor, which was uh, an idea really complicated because uh, um, about um, the, the alcohol uh, license, um, it's not the easiest place uh, to have a restaurant there because you have to block the view that nobody sees uh, uh, the alcohol. And um, yeah, that was also quite uh, challenging to, to to solve all these problems and all these regulations. Regulations. This is um, was the biggest challenge uh, for for me. I must say, um, uh, we were one of the first countries who signed with Expo. Um, but this was unfortunately not really an advantage, I must say. Uh, we had to meet all the strict regulations, uh, like like fire uh, protection and uh, the alcohol things, and all this was uh, it was a, a nightmare. And uh, later, Expo made a lot of 
re relaxations, but it was uh, definitely too late for us. Uh, like like uh, like the the levels uh, for the plot. Um, also um, complicated if you are the one of the first. Um, it's it's not not always uh, an advantage. Um, it was good um, um, for for other pavilions. Um, so I, I was able to to help Austrian uh, a little bit uh, to find a local partner and things like this. But um, for for our pavilion, that was not a, an advantage. And um, yeah, as you can see here on the picture, um, but this was. Uh, uh, post COVID, huh? um, you can see this. That this uh, was uh, well, this is not possible anymore uh, to sit so close in uh, a quite small uh, meeting room. And um, yeah, um, this was in the beginning the main work we did because we try to uh, discuss. Uh, or to, to, to get relaxations about the membrane, for example. Because uh, if you remember, I told you we, we changed the material to the membrane uh, from a metal uh, facade to a membrane because of uh, budget reasons. And um, then Expo told us, yeah, you can use a membrane, but it needs to be a PTFE, which is a fiber glass membrane. And um, we said, yeah, OK. Yeah, why not? We can do this um, for sure. I didn't know uh, the fiberglass membrane is uh, terribly expensive, even more expensive than uh, a metal facade. <laughs> so, um, that was a, a quite big shock. So we 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 had we had to reduce uh, uh, other things to to realize the the, the PTFE membrane, and um, uh, yeah, strange situation because Quakecraft um, uh, already show. Uh, the Spain Pavilion, or you saw the Spain Pavilion yesterday, and uh, the, the Spain Pavilion, they used uh, a PVC membrane, as far as I know, and this is much cheaper and easier to, to, to build, and uh, yeah, again, uh, Expo did the relaxation about uh, membrane uh, works, but also this was too late for us, because uh, we 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 did the tender quite early, so that was that was also too late. Next picture, uh, you know this already because uh, Quercraft show is quite uh, similar uh, picture. Uh, our plot is here, um, and it is it's really interesting because it was. Um, it was uh, in 2018, by the way, <laughs> not 2019. <laughs> so, um, we start, uh, as I mentioned, it's, we start everything very early. Um, and um, yeah, it was a real desert. Yeah? It is uh, amazing, but uh, it was a desert there. And now they, they create a, a, a small town there. Uh, in 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 the middle of nowhere because um, between the different parts of uh, Dubai, I guess you know that uh, you have um, different parts like like uh, Dubai downtown, Dubai Marina, and um, Expo and Dubai South and all this. And between these uh, parts, you have desert. Uh, it's, uh, Dubai is really a, a strange city, and um, but uh, very, very interesting. Yeah, 
another picture. This is also uh, Expo in the beginning. There was only a few uh, small buildings. Um, and um, uh, to, to, to have the meetings, like I showed, uh, it was always uh, in this building here in the beginning. And uh, yeah, very interesting. And after solving all the problems, uh, we start creating uh, or we, we start uh, to erect the, the pavilion. And um, we really try to use uh, only a few materials and uh, we so we did uh, we have we have only uh, concrete uh, slab as a foundation and uh, the rest is um, a steel structure which is covered by the membrane and uh, plasterboard of course and uh, yeah that's that's it more or less it sounds simple was uh, but it was very 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 complicated and difficult to solve all the details. I will try to explain this uh, with some uh, drawings from the membrane. And um, yeah, let me try to, to explain. So this, can you see my mouse moving? I hope so. Um, so this is one part of the Möbius stripe. This is the steel structure. And um, you can see all this different, the, the blue is the membrane. And uh, there are a few uh, details to solve. And um, the problem with the PTFE membrane is not only it, it is expensive, uh, it's also not flexible. This, that means you can't stretch it like a PVC membrane. So it was necessary to, to, make, uh, 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 to make a good uh, execution drawing. And uh, because the, 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 whole, the whole membrane work was done uh, in uh, Australia. And, it's it's a bit strange. Uh, Tayo is the the company. It's a Japanese company. Um, the the office we talked to was in Germany, and uh, the production uh, was in Austria. Uh, yeah, and you see that was a, a really uh, uh, intercultural intercultural uh, communication. And uh, that was um, also quite challenging to 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 bring everybody uh, on the on, on the same page. And the next picture shows the, um, it was like like a suit, you know. Um, it's more or less the same. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, which produced all these different uh, shapes and uh, we stick them together on site and the the tolerance we can use was only uh, two centimeters in in this direction and two centimeters in this direction and this is 15 meters long and um, that was a really, really, uh, I wouldn't say a nightmare, but um, uh, the, the time we, we start uh, installing the membrane, that was uh, very sleepless for me because um, the steel structure was not perfect. And um, I will show this, uh, uh, I can show it now, maybe, uh, and then I switch back. So this is a picture of the steel structure, and um, yeah, the tolerance. I, I mentioned the tolerance uh, in, in total four centimeters, and if you watched uh, the steel structure, 
probably you see this pipe and this pipe is not really uh, smooth. This is like uh, it's waving and um, and th but this is the, the 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 substructure for the membrane. So we don't care about the big pipes, but we we care about the small pipes. And the small pipes they were an absolutely nightmare. And um, the biggest problem was um, COVID, uh, because uh, it was not necessary. Uh, it was not possible to to fly to Dubai uh, during uh, a quite long period. Uh, it was six months. So I, I, I left Dubai in, uh, in March. So that was really the last uh, fly out of Dubai. And I returned in August. So, And in the meantime, they installed this stupid uh, uh, pipes for the for the substructure for the membrane and uh, I returned uh, to to Dubai and I saw that and I it was 100% uh, clear this is not working out this is not possible so it was necessary to reinstall the substructure and uh, install it again and of course this is uh, really time consuming and of course this is also very expensive and uh, it was a, a really big fight um, uh, the, all this money and um, I go back I go back to my suit <laughs> if you see this which was already produced in, in um, in Australia, and it was shipped to, to Dubai, and um, it was on the plot, and we couldn't install it because it was necessary to, to reinstall the, the substructure. Um, so it was packed in, in wooden boxes, and um, nobody knew what happens with the membrane inside uh, a wooden box and uh, with temperature from uh, around 50 degrees uh, in the sun. So yeah, that was a big, big, big question mark. And um, uh, in the end, the result uh, or it, 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 nothing happened. Uh, uh, it was not too bad. So we, we were quite, quite uh, lucky in, uh, for that way. Another another challenge was uh, the the shape the the Möbius shape um, because we had an inside and an outside membrane and uh, maybe I can show this uh, on this picture uh, this part is an outside uh, membrane and this part is an inside membrane and I go back to to this um, the problem was to install the outside membrane this is that was not problem at all because um, all the the membrane buildings uh, you know they're always built in the same way uh, they you, you just cover uh, the substructure uh, like like you, you put some some something on, something soft on something and um, that's easy to fix and uh, to or easy to install easy to fix no problem but from the inside um, was a bit new for for Tayo for the company and uh, they didn't know how to to fix the the inside membrane, so it was um, very very funny to 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 find solutions for this. Okay, I think I have to speed up a little bit. Sorry for that. Um, okay, uh, back to the to the substructure. Um, 
so uh, the, to to reinstall the substructure, that was um, we it was they spent uh, five months. Uh, so the we the, the steel structure was ready uh, by the end of January, and then we start installing um, installing the membrane. And uh, honestly speaking. Um, without COVID, I have no idea what happens. Uh, <laughs> um, I I can't answer this question. The, the, maybe maybe um, that um, the result, at least the result, or the quality, would be not the same uh, than we have it now on site. Um, yeah, another thing was. Um, how to to install all this? You can see here um, this uh, this machines. I have no idea what's the name for this. Uh, we call this uh, hooplift uh, in in German. Uh, I don't know. Um, and we we had a lot of uh, uh, machines uh, for for installing all this because this was the only. Uh, Possibility to to bring all the steel at uh, at the place. On this picture, you see you can already uh, see uh, the the entrance area, and uh, you have the, the the core building here, and um, this is uh, where the the the, the Möbius stripes goes under the ramp and yeah as you can maybe imagine um, this is such a complex shape is uh, yeah is not really it's it's not really a, a, a say a, a Temporary building uh, because uh, we did we did really a big effort uh, to to install this uh, Möbius stripe and um, I don't know what happens with the Austrian pavilion but uh, uh, <laughs> but I know already what happens with the Luxembourg pavilion and um, Expo they ask us to. To, to leave or to uh, to, 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 to leave the, the pavilion uh, there. That means uh, we we are not uh, we we don't have to dismantle all this and um, um, that makes it uh, a little bit easier for us. Uh, um, but uh, again, back to the circular economy um, about the materials. Uh, the PTFE uh, membrane, that was uh, another story. It, this is not recyclable. So uh, the only way was uh, to, to deal with the, with the company that they take it back and use it for another project. That was already, we had a deal with Tayo and they, they agreed to do this and um, uh, but now uh, it's not necessary, but uh, that was uh, one of the, the deals. And uh, the steel structure, of course, is no problem. The steel is very good um, to, um, to, to re for, for recycling. And here a picture you see um, how complex the the, uh, the Möbius stripe, the main steel structure was, and um, all this um, structure was built to 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 bring this shape in in form. It is like a, like a bridge construction, and also this was a very 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 um, interesting point because. Uh, all the all the roof structure they went down uh, for 15 centimeters, 
And uh, also this was a little bit complicated with the membrane. But uh, in the end, uh, we, 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 we finished the pavilion. And um, now I, I would like to share some pictures from, from, the, from the pavilion, like it all. Uh, this is our uh, exhibition ramp. Um, There's also um, uh, interesting uh, story about behind this uh, ramp because um, we called it a um, sloping exhibition area and not ramp because uh, with a ramp you have to fulfill other regulations and that was also not possible anymore because everything was uh, designed so um, we decided to uh, call it in a different way, sloping exhibition area, and they uh, they accepted. Uh, and that was um, that was really good. Uh, here you can see uh, the the exhibition. It's a, a little bit more, uh, um, or yeah, I don't know how to say. It's it's different than to the Austria. Um, we have um, we in in, a, in a Luxembourg. It's, it's a very small uh, country, but uh, they live uh, more than uh, hundred different uh, nationalities. So we have a, a really uh, big uh, diversity, and that was the reason why we showed that uh, in in uh, with different uh, small uh, screens here. Um, this was uh, um, the part for sustainability, how Luxembourg deals with, uh, with all this um, sustainability. This is the same. And then uh, a render which shows uh, the part of Mulotal. I already try to explain how do you show uh, uh, a landscape in, in the desert? Uh, we decided uh, to reduce uh, the, um, the, 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 the nature part, the real nature part, the trees, to a minimum. And we uh, show the trees uh, in an in the abstract way, like you see it here. This is. Um, these are uh, dots, and it's a foil, it's a, um, um, a mirror foil, and the effect was really nice. Uh, you have the, the light uh, on the mirror, and uh, it was very, uh, quite uh, quite interesting effect. You see this light uh, going down into the forest, and um, yeah, again, this is... Um, this is a render that was the beginning, and um, then this was uh, the part or how we realized it. We reduced the trees even more um, because it was really complicated to have the the, the, the trees in in the atrium. So, and we show the rocks, uh, which is really typical for the Millotal. And um, yeah, that was the idea. This is the slide going down. And um, yeah, this is one of the, the best uh, parts uh, in the pavilion. Uh, the visitor loves uh, uh, sliding down into uh, this Millotal. You can see another perspective. Another picture shows um, the sustainability exhibition part. And uh, this is um, the, um, the main exhibition room with the curved um, screen and, uh, and the movie. Uh, in the atrium, uh, we show um, 
the, the four different parts in Luxembourg. We have a north, east, west, and south part. And actually, all these parts are really different. So we show that in, the, in these spheres like this. And yeah, this picture shows um, the, the inside membrane. That's the reason why I choose this picture. Um, and uh, you can see this is completely different to, to the outside, uh, but that was the, the, the only possibility to, to fix the, the inside membrane in a proper way. Yeah, this is uh, some other uh, impression. Um, parece que se ha... I'm back. Okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Can you hear me? Hear me? Okay. Uh, keep me. Yeah. Could I, could I uh, finish the, or... What should we do? No, no, continue, please. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Wait, uh, to, uh, okay, let's, yeah, okay. So, sorry, I, I don't know what happened. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I, I, I'll speed up. Um, yeah, that's that's uh, a view from from the entrance uh, area with the with the uh, ex, uh, with the ramp. Uh, here you can see the, the shading waiting area. That's another way. And as you can see here, it's quite interesting. There you can see the, the height difference and you can see how, how uh, sloping the, the plot was. Yeah, this is uh, uh, just some, some impressions. Um, the, entrance and of course uh, th this kind of uh, shape uh, moves to something completely different in the night um, we have a, a kind of negative uh, um, so we, we are not putting the light on the membrane uh, not on the outside membrane but we put the light uh, on the inside membrane and um, this was uh, a very, really nice effect. Just to, uh, to, to show again uh, how difficult it was uh, to, to install all these membranes. And you see here, for example, all these defects. Uh, in the end, we, we solved the, the most of the problems, but um, and with the, uh, with this really bad uh, uh, sub steel substructure, it was uh, it was a nightmare. <laughs> uh, okay, but um, yeah, this is uh, the 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 result. Um, if you compare it, um, I think the the final result is uh, quite quite nice. Can this 
yeah uh, again the the trees uh, in the in in the in the pavilion also a very, very big uh, challenge another slide uh, another uh, slide from the slide yeah another picture from the slide and okay and that's um, yeah that's the the final uh, picture and i would like to to end the presentation with this picture showing uh, again uh, completely different than on the day and um, yeah again i would like to say thank you and uh, if you have questions uh, please do not hesitate uh,